If you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you know that earlier in the year, I moved to Sydney, Australia from Singapore. After living here for almost a year, I guess it's safe to say that I've experienced this city enough to share how I feel about this place. Usually, I make reviews about camera gear on this channel, but it seems like I'm moving on to reviewing cities. If you are someone that's thinking about moving to this country, hopefully this video will give you an insight of what life is like here. And this will probably be extra relevant if you lived in Singapore your whole life like myself. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing for more of such content in the future. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. So let's get straight to the topic and talk about Sydney. First up, arguably my favourite thing about living here is the outdoor opportunities. In Singapore, yes, we have nature spots as well, but being a small country, we have limited options and the landscapes are definitely not as dramatic as what you can find here in Sydney. But that said, Australia is relatively flat compared to other countries, so you don't get as much mountainous landscapes like Norway or New Zealand. It's still very nice here regardless. Whenever we have the opportunity, my wife and I will head out on road trips to go camping and hiking. So far, we have not visited the same place twice. That's how big this place is. Speaking of size, Sydney is huge and Australia is huger. That's probably not proper grammar, but you get the point. And of course, there are pros and cons to this. The pro is that you have lots of places to explore. The con is that the commute sucks. Transportation here in Sydney, both public and private, is quite bad compared to Singapore. For public transport, the options are fairly limited and accessibility isn't great as well. The thing I dislike the most is that the bus rides are pretty intense. I almost always get a case of motion sickness after each trip. If you drive, the roads can get pretty congested at certain times of the day, especially if you're close to the city centre. But the good news is that the cars here are so much more affordable than Singapore, so that's a big plus. The topic of owning a car and driving here in Sydney is a pretty big one and it's a video on its own. If you're interested in something like that, do let me know in the comment sections down below. Moving on, let's talk about the lifestyle here in Sydney. This place is great for morning people like myself. The stores open early and you'll see loads of people out and about even on Sunday mornings. The people here are also very health conscious, so you'll see many exercising and everywhere you go, you'll probably see a gym. That's good as there is a positive influence on my lifestyle as well. However, not everything is rainbows and butterflies. The pace of life here is so slow compared to Singapore. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, that's fine, but personally, I prefer efficiency and reliability. Trying to get things done here has been quite a frustrating process for me. Deadlines are never met and you have to keep following up with the other party repeatedly to get what you want. I'm probably extra sensitive about this because I'm from Singapore, but you have been warned. In general, people here are very nice and very accepting. They are open-minded and will not judge you for who you are. Also, this place is genuinely a multicultural city. Singapore prides itself as a multicultural country, but realistically speaking, it's predominantly Chinese, Malays and Indians. Here, you really get to meet people from all over the world and from all walks of life. On the topic of humans, people here are more vocal and will stand up for their rights and beliefs. There are strikes quite frequently and sometimes, stuff like transport is affected. This is definitely something you don't experience in Singapore often. If you're a videographer or a photographer, I've got good news for you. The sun here is amazing. More often than not, you'll be blessed with great light to make your subjects really pop from your shots. Even if you're not a camera person, you'll still get to enjoy the amazing sunrise and sunsets which happen quite frequently. Since we are talking about light, one thing I really dislike is that the light can get quite blinding at times. This is not an exaggeration. There are times where I have to drive blind for a couple of seconds because the light is that bright. Moving on to weather, Sydney is a place where you get to enjoy four seasons but in a mild way. Being from a tropical country, it's nice to be able to wear a coat or a suit for a whole day without breaking a sweat. And what I mean by in a mild way is that conditions don't get too extreme in a way that our lifestyles get inconvenienced. However, being from Singapore, we are very sheltered in general, so after coming here and experiencing 70km winds, floods, landslides and animal attacks, it certainly is a culture shock. One thing that is probably on your mind is the cost of living. Well, long story short, 
Sydney is probably one of the most expensive cities to live in in Australia. But the good news is that it is still affordable. Compared to Singapore, it is slightly more expensive, but the wages here will make up for that difference. One thing for sure is that you can forget about eating out as often as you did back in Singapore. Also, personally, I prefer the food back home. But don't think for one moment that there is a lack of variety. The types of cuisines you get here is actually way more than what you would get in Singapore. I guess the last thing which is pretty underwhelming compared to the other things I mentioned earlier is the produce here. Most, if not all of their produce is local, which makes things fresher and many who live here will swear by it. Personally, I'm not that particular that I can taste much of a difference, but one thing that really stood out to me is the avocados here. They are really good and this is not an exaggeration. Anyways, there are probably other things I love and dislike about this place, but these are the main things that come to mind. If you guys found this video useful, do let me know so I can consider making a part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It'd be great if you guys can buy me a cup of coffee because it really helps me in creating more of such content in the future. That's pretty much it for today. It's a wrap!